Actor Leslie Howard is best remembered for his role as Ashley Wilkes in Gone with the Wind, a performance that solidified his career in Hollywood. However, lesser known are his contributions to the war effort during World War II, where he used his acting skills to support British propaganda efforts. This multi-talented individual had a diverse career that extended beyond the silver screen. What anecdotes or lesser known facts about him do you find fascinating? Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned as we delve into more funny, shocking and sad facts about this classic actor. Born in London, England, Leslie Howard came from a comfortable middle-class family. His father, Frank, worked as a stockbroker, while his mother, Lillian, was a stage actress. Leslie attended Allen's school in London, where acting became his passion. Influenced by his mother, he pursued acting and debuted on stage at 18, gaining recognition for his talent. Despite initial setbacks, Leslie's determination propelled him forward and he honed his craft, catching the attention of director George Cukor, leading to successful collaborations. Transitioning to Hollywood marked a turning point. His role as Ashley Wilkes in Gone with the Wind brought widespread acclaim, making him a leading actor. Beyond on-screen success, Leslie contributed to the war effort in World War II, using his acting skills for British propaganda. In Sumalamtorary, Leslie Howard's early life, family background, and collaborations shaped his acting career. From stage to Hollywood, his dedication during wartime showcased his talent. This journey exemplifies his impact on the entertainment industry. Leslie Howard, the oldest among five siblings from a London family passionate about the arts, had relatives also involved in entertainment. His brothers and sisters, including Doris, Irene, Jim Limetree, and Arthur, pursued careers in the industry too. Besides acting, he was a talented writer contributing to The New Yorker and Vanity Fair. He co-founded Minerva Films with Adrian Brunel, showing his interest in production. His various talents and entrepreneurial drive shaped his career on and off screen, demonstrating his diverse roles in the entertainment world. Leslie Howard, known for his portrayal of Ashley Wilkes in Gone with the Wind, faced challenges with the role due to his age. Despite feeling too old for the part, he accepted after being promised a producer credit on another film. Similarly, when cast as Romeo and Romeo and Juliet, some viewers felt he and his co-star were too mature for the roles. Despite these criticisms, Howard's talent shone through, showcasing his versatility as an actor. His reluctance to play certain characters highlights his dedication to roles he believed in, often pushing boundaries to deliver compelling performances. Howard's career exemplifies an actor Kamala treated to his craft, navigating challenges with determination and skill. His ability to breathe life into diverse roles solidifies his place in cinematic history, leaving a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. Rising to fame in Hollywood by playing Ashley Wilkes in Gone with the Wind, he won over audiences and became a star. Some people doubted his age at first, but he showed what he could act in many different ways. He also helped with British propaganda during World War II. Besides acting, he liked to write for magazines like The New Yorker and Vanity Fair. He even started a film company called Minerva Films with someone else. His acting and other work still matter today. Leslie Howard, renowned for his role as Ashley Wilkes in Gone with the Wind, showcased his versatility by taking on diverse characters such as Romeo in Romeo and Juliet and Dwight Winthrop in A Free Soul. Despite initial doubts about his age, he demonstrated his acting skills alongside Clark Gable. In the movie of Human Bondage, Howard portrayed Philip, a character with a club foot, demonstrating his ability to tackle challenging roles authentically. Beyond acting, he displayed his writing talent by contributing to magazines and co-founding Minerva Films. Despite facing challenges, Leslie Howard's dedication to his craft and varied talents left a lasting mark on the entertainment industry, securing his place in cinematic history. Leslie Howard, known for his role as Ashley Wilkes in Gone with the Wind, displayed versatility in portraying Romeo in Romeo and Juliet. Despite expectations for a dark-haired Romeo, Howard insisted on maintaining his natural blonde hair for authenticity. His romance extended off-screen as he fell in love with Merle Oberon. Interestingly, in August 1936, he avoided flying due to astrological advice, showing a superstition contrary to his rational profession. Howard's willingness to embrace authenticity in his roles and his personal quirks reveal layers beyond his on-screen persona. His Kamalam treatment to his craft and personal beliefs shaped both his professional and personal life. 
Leslie Howard, famous for playing Ashley Wilkes in Gone with the Wind, Showwood his acting skills by also playing Romeo in Romeo and Juliet. Even though people expected Romeo to have dark hair, he insisted on keeping his blonde hair to be more real. He also fell in love with Merle Oberon. In August 1936, he didn't want to fly because of advice from astrology, which is interesting because it goes against his rational job. His common entrapment to being real in his roles and his personal beliefs show there's more to him than just what we see on screen. His dedication to acting and personal ideas influenced both his work and personal life, leaving a strong impact on the entertainment industry. Leslie Howard didn't initially want to be in Gone with the Wind. He thought the character he was offered, Ashley Wilkes, wasn't interesting enough. But the producer convinced him by promising him a part in another movie called Intermezzo. Even though some people doubted him, he acted really well in roles like Romeo in Romeo and Juliet. He even used special shoes for the scenes where he had to fight. Leslie had a girlfriend named Violet Cunnington, but she died from a sickness called cerebral meningitis. Leslie was also superstitious and didn't like flying because of something he read in astrology. Despite facing difficulties, Leslie was really comalantrated to his work and what he believed in. He left a strong impression not just with his acting, but also with how he lived his life. His story shows how following your passions and staying true to yourself can make a big difference. Leslie Howard's performance as Philippine of Human Bondage made a big impression, with Betty Davis saying he helped her act better. People initially questioned if he was too old for certain roles, but he proved them wrong by playing Romeo in Romeo and Juliet. His estate was worth 251000 when it was disclosed in 1944, and most of it went to his family when he died. He started writing when he was young and even wrote a play in Latin when he was 13. He helped start Minerva Films and wrote for magazines like The New Yorker and Vanity Fair. He was rumored to have had a relationship with Violet Cunnington, who died before him. He believed in superstitions like not flying because of astrology. Despite challenges, he stayed true to himself in both his work and personal life, leaving a mark on the entertainment industry. In A Free Soul, Leslie Howard acted alongside big stars like Norma Shearer, Lionel Barrymore, and Clark Gable. Even though he felt a bit out of place, his performance really shone, standing out among future Oscar winners and nominees. His character's journey in the movie added depth to the story, showing how well he could bring complexity to his roles. Howard was born into a family with different backgrounds. His dad was Hungarian and his mom was English. This mix influenced his upbringing and probably helped shape his many talents. In Gone with the Wind, he played Ashley Wilkes, but he thought he was too old for the part. He wasn't too happy about how his character was portrayed or dressed, but audiences loved his performance, making him a part of movie history. Aside from acting, Howard also wrote for magazines like The New Yorker and Vanity Fair. He even got into film production, starting Minerva Films with someone else. Even though he faced superstitions and personal tragedies like losing someone he cared about, Howard stayed dedicated to his work and beliefs. His impact on entertainment lives on through his timeless performances and work in movies.